Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned what is a set and a subset. This lesson we shall learn what is a universal set. As we know about set and subset now, can there be a big set which contains everything? When I say everything means elements of a particular type are having some common property. We call it a universal set like a set of all living things on this planet including human beings, animals, plants. So we can call a set of living things denoted by U a universal set. Here the big rectangle is a universal set denoted by U. Let us take another example a set of real numbers. It has all the numbers that we use in our day-to-day -day life integers, decimal, fractions, etc. So we can call the set of real numbers denoted by R, a universal set. All the set of numbers we use is actually a subset of it. Let us try to represent the set of real numbers now. We know real number contains rational numbers as well as irrational numbers. So look here, that big rectangle is the universal set R, the set of real numbers. And within that, this blue part represent the set of all the rational numbers that is set Q. We say Q is a set of numbers X such that X belongs to R and X equal to P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. So that is the set Q of rational numbers. And the space left in the rectangle must be representing all the irrational numbers. We denote it as Q dash. Means Q dash is a set of elements X such that X belongs to the universal set of real numbers R. But X is not a rational number. X does not belong to Q. For example, numbers like square root of 2, square root of 3 are irrational number, not part of Q, but part of R. Now, set of integers like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. is a subset of rational numbers. So we can say set of integers Z, the light blue colored set, is a subset of the set of rational numbers Q, the dark blue colored set. It is inside the set Q. So set Z is a subset of set Q and set Q which is rational number is all a subset of the universal set R. Furthermore set of whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. are the subset of set of integers because negative integers are not whole numbers so they are not part of it but as 0 and the set of positive number 1, 2, 3, 4 are set of whole numbers. So we can say set of whole numbers is a subset of set of integers or set W is a subset of set Z. This also means set W is a subset of set Z and set Z is a subset of set Q and set Q is a set subset of set R. So we can also say set W is a subset of R. You can say any possible subset of numbers we come across is actually a subset of the universal set R. So this set of real numbers R is an infinite set as it can have infinite number of elements. That way set of rational numbers R Q is also an infinite set as there are infinite numbers of integers, decimals, fractions, etc. But the set of all mammals is a finite set as the number of mammals is a large number but a finite number, not an infinite number. So that is a finite set. That's all for now. Bye-bye.